hey lovelies welcome to my channel hope you're all doing okay in today's video we are going to do this gorgeous looking braids yeah and i'm going to show the steps that i use to achieve this braid you know i haven't done anything on my hair for god knows about six seven months ago since i did a braid on my hair the last braid video on my channel was the very last braid i did on my hair and so yeah i hope you do like today's braid thank you so much to all the new subscribers i'm so happy and welcome you all to this channel and i hope you do stay and enjoy everything that this channel brings you to dive right into the video i'm just combing my hair as from the previous videos i've washed my hair and i've blow dried it and it look all good ready for me to do my braids i don't need any more washing so it's all ready for me to just part and then start prepping my my hair i think i relaxed my hair about almost a week plus two now but then if you look at it as if it's still a bit like stiff i don't know anyway so that's my hair i'm just patting it and showing this is the gel i'm going to use to just uh, hold the little baby hairs that are like all around <laughs> before i do the the braids i have a mirror before me and then uh, like i extended it it's like that kind of three-way view mirror so this is how i started the braid if you can see it clearly i'm trying to bring the bring it close to the camera for you to see if you can <laughs> so what i did is i put the the hair behind the braiding hair behind mine and then i twisted it like as you can see in the video what i'm doing i'm going to do a few of these for you to see how it looks like and when i'm braiding i make sure i pull the braiding hair all the way to the end and here it has reached the end of my own hair so i divided one that is bigger into about two to be able to like spread it to about three equal sizes so when i'm braiding the hair will be like all okay in the same size so that's what i did there I don't know if you saw that one so i'm starting an another one again so i put this one underneath my hair from the frontal side if you can see and then i wrap it around like a u yeah and then i start braiding it very very easy if you see what i did it's quite really easy and it's it's like explain itself really so i start braiding it all the way from the bottom there like a tree braiding and then i get to the end where my hair is not that long enough you see and then i divided one hair into two like just a little bit of section to add it to braid it to a point before i divide again to make it all like equal sizes this way my hair will not be like hanging about in the braid and else it will tend to like a twist <laughs> you need three sections of this hair along the way to be able to make that uh, braid yeah that's a box braid i'm doing so that's the same thing i did with the first one i'm going to continue with and i've finished with that one too this is my hair the sides that i was complaining about that they broke so you can see some of them are really short so i i grab the hair again wrap it around the braiding hair as i'm doing it i'm holding my hair so tight to to the roots and at the same time to the braiding hair so that the the bottom of it will be very strong when i finish yeah i don't want to finish and then the hair will be very loose and hanging about so as i am braiding along actually the braiding hair i got is from uh it's aliexpress it was really cheap i did not know and so it can like tangle very very quickly so anytime i braid one or two times i have to like pull it all the way to the end or the bottom of the hair so that it doesn't like wrap around or tangle make it easy for me so i finished that one too i'm just trying to do another side if you can see just add a little bit of chill to make it like slick down before i continue i'm going to do this very very quick and cut it off and continue the hair so that it doesn't take all the day or forever to finish this yeah so i'm just showing you from the frontal side again what i'm doing i put the hair right underneath my hair from the like forehead side and then i start braiding from the roots directly that's what i did this is the easiest way for me i figured out yeah i also did some previously in the, the my last video i think i used a uh, elastic band i think i used something like that i'm not sure yeah so this is different from that one very very easy and as you can see some of the braid in the middle the way i i sectioned the hair into about two or three parts has like a bit wrapped <laughs> so it's made the braid look as if it is not uh, straight but then well it's okay when i finish it all look good they all like matchy so it doesn't have any problem really to be able to do your own hair is is the achievement you know it's not easy to be able to do all that by yourself and seriously 
the last time i remembered going to a salon asking to braid my hair i was told 150 pounds <laughs> that is a lot of money guys that is a lot of money so i sometimes do my hair by myself and i like it it's so good i think i'm almost done with yeah i'm just i cut i cut it all very quick and to make it simple i finish all the braid the back of it is sometimes really difficult showing so i cut all those off and then i'm just trimming all the hairs if you can see some of them are not straight but it's still okay <laughs> i've done my best and just trimming all the hairs that are on the braid if you look properly there are some of them that are hanging i don't know if the camera is showing them so i'm just cutting them all off to make the hair look very smooth back in my village when i was younger they used to uh, use like fire if i say fire some people use like a candle a burning candle to like burn around the hair and the problem with that one is you'll be smelling your hair burning which is not good i don't like it <laughs> yeah i'm so tired so the hair is done now it's all finished i think i finished trimming it and i'm going to boil it when i say i'm going to boil I have here hot water and I have some, I put olive oil anyway into it with a hair conditioner. That's what I put into this. That's why it's, you can see the oil at the top and then the conditioner all mixed in it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the braids into it and I have a towel on my laps and I'm going to put another one at my back in case the hair goes back so that it doesn't get burned. This water has been boiled so it's really really hot you know what i mean if you have just a little on you you'll be burned totally burned <laughs> so i have to be careful doing this so i've just finished with that and i'm going to section the hair like just a bit by bit putting it all into the the water making sure it doesn't pour on me <laughs> don't worry i am watching what i'm doing and i'm careful with that it's not going to touch me <laughs> <laughs> because i know what that can do to my skin and i'm just boiling the hair i actually uh read about boiling the hair it makes the hair like uh the braiding hair last longer and also very smooth so that is the reason i think they normally do boil uh braids so that's what i'm doing now just put it all of it into the boiled water very gently not to hurt myself that's all yeah so after this i'm going to make sure i clean all the water in the end as i have another towel on my laps already as i said that's the one the re little red towel is the one i'm using to pick the water out of the hair each section and when you finish this process it's not done because the hair is soaked with water all of it is not out when i use that towel to clean it so you have to be careful because it's gonna like drain on you directly onto your dress or anything that you have there even on the floor so you have to be careful when you finish with this maybe you have to prep another towel on the floor maybe behind you so that the water that will be dropping will be like going into it and you know get things wet it can be sometimes very nasty you know so yeah i think i'm almost done with all of these and i'm going to just do my edges i don't have any edges actually <laughs> i try my best sometimes to do some baby hairs and i realize there is nothing there it's all gone oh i don't know i think i held them all into the braid actually i think i have some little one around here nothing at the so front. yeah your girl is back i'm done with the braids and it looks so 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 gorgeous i really like braids and it does really look good especially paired up with jeans on a hot summer day like walking or strolling around some seaside it's so gorgeous so let me turn around so i can show you my sides of the braid so from the side view that's how it looks going to the back that's how it also looks from the back it's quite really long braid <laughs> so i'm not sure i'm able to show all of it and so i'm just spreading from the back and then you can see how it look these are really big braids and it has changed my face a lot i like uh, bigger braids compared to smaller ones because i feel that the, like the small ones will like pull my hair you know like let them uh, come out damage my hair i feel like that so that is how they look and by far the longest braids i've had so that far the end of today's braids <laughs> And I hope you do like today's video and this braid. If you do like today's video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and I'll be back to reply you. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.